Today, we will see examples of distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction of whole numbers. 1 litre milk costing 35 rupees and 1 packet of biscuit costing 15 rupees are bought every day at Sachin's house. Can you find out the expense on these items in 7 days? Method 1. To solve this, we will find the total expenditure of one day, that is, the cost of one litre of milk plus the cost of one packet of biscuits, 35 plus 15. Now how do we find the expenditure for seven days? Think for a while. We have to multiply the total expenditure of one day, that is, 35 plus 15 by 7. 7 into 35 plus 15. After simplification, we get 7 into 50 which is equal to 350 rupees. Method 2. First, we will find the amount spent on milk in 7 days, which will be 7 into 35. Similarly, we will find the amount spent on the packet of biscuits in 7 days, which will be 7 into 15. Then we will add them and get the total expenditure. Total expenditure is equal to 7 into 35 plus 7 into 15 which is equal to 245 plus 105 which is equal to 350. Thus, the total expenditure obtained by both methods are the same. In this way, 7 into 35 plus 15 is equal to 7 into 35 plus 7 into 15. This is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. The next example. The daily income of Harish's father is 315 rupees. Can you find out his annual income? In this example, it is given that Harish's father's daily income is 315. We have to find out what his annual income is. We know that there are 365 days in a year. Hence, his annual income will be 315 into 365. Finding the product of these two values seems difficult. But when we apply the distributive property of multiplication over addition, we can solve it easily. That is, 315 into 365 can be written as 315 into 300 plus 60 plus 5. Here, how do we apply the distributive property of multiplication over addition? Think for a while. By distributivity of multiplication over addition, we can write it as follows. Solving this, we get the annual income as 1,14,975 rupees. Next example. Find the value of 5 into 78 using the distributive property. We can write 5 into 78 as 5 into 80 minus 2. This can be written as 5 into 80 minus 5 into 2 by the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Solving this, we get 400 minus 10, which is equal to 390. Therefore, by using the distributive property, we can find the solutions very easily. Today, we have seen examples of distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction of whole numbers. In the next video, we will highlight some of the misconceptions related to this.